Hello! We are here today to discuss three sisters, not actual three sisters. Right. I don't really want to talk we're, about we're three my brothers, sister Rhonda, yeah. but you know, because I only have one, thank heaven. I can't do I got two brothers and a sister. What, Maybe what they are, were what, sisters. What, 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 what are we? Chalk liver? You're not my sisters. No. Okay. We're brothers. Well, yeah. Just not biological. Yeah. Well, yeah. We so can't get rid of them. We're not yeah. talking about that. We're talking about this <laughs> game, Three Sisters. Right. And uh, so before we get going on that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can find out more about our family tree, I guess. Or us goofing off. Or family garden in this case. A little bit of all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Rob, tell us about Three all right, Sisters. Three Sisters. It's a new release, 2022. We got it from Kickstarter. Uh, so, it's not, I don't know if it's readily available in retail yet. Published by Motor City Game Works. Overall ranking is 1,789. Individual rated at 7.8. Designed by Ben Pinchback and Matt Riddle. Art by uh, Marlies Barons and Beth Sobel. Hi, Beth. Love your stuff. And then MSRP is $29.99. That's what the Kickstarter version was. I saw it on Amazon for also $29.99 and eBay for $39.99, but I don't know how readily available it was. I didn't to see if it was in stock or not. This just came out within a couple of months ago. So Yeah. Now, this version came with a built-in upgrade, yeah, the weather expansion. But, right. Uh, we did not play with it this time. Because we were learning. Yeah, we were learning the game. So... Uh, Let's talk about the quality of components. So you do the main thing is you get these kind of strange orange colored dice. They have they have a pumpkin slash squash on them because <laughs> the first we were before getting into this video we were discussing the name Three Sisters and why it's called that because there's only one farmer now. It is a, a female farmer, but there's no, no sisters. sisters. So I was wondering if she buried them in the garden <laughs> and we were just tilling them up. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's yeah, actually referring to the vegetables. There's the squash, the corn, and the beans that apparently help each other grow. I had no idea. I don't have a garden. I don't know anything about that. Interesting. Although I think burying your sisters would also help your garden grow. <laughs> but a little well, illegal. Yeah. A little illegal. <laughs> well, depends on the state, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but uh, apart from the dice, you get a, a nice thick cardboard player board, which is kind of just the main mm -hmm. board goes in the middle. It's not really a player board per se. Uh, you get a first player token that looks like a pumpkin, which apparently is really a squash in this game. A uh, little tiny cloud for, for the, the weather, weather expansion. expansion. And a green tractor that we have no idea why it's in there. I well, think it maybe it's. Well, I think it is, but maybe it goes to the first person who completes it. it. I don't know, but um, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything. Hey, that if you find you out can't. why you have the green tractor, yeah. uh, I didn't notice anything token, in the rules about it. Know. I didn't see anything in the rules about the green tractor. I don't know if it's something to do with the solo or what, but it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. So, but that's and then, and then, and then the you pads. get a ton of paper. Yeah, you get two pads. It, this is another one yeah. similar. It's made by the same people who made Fleet the game dice game, yeah. and it had two pads too. It, it, well, it's two sheets, so you get two sets of pads, and they're double sided, and it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. good, good yeah, pretty good card quality. So it'll stand up to two plays for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, for what you get in the game, it's all pretty nice. Yeah. But yeah. there's just not much in the game. You know, it's a small box game, so you don't expect... Component-wise, yes. There's not yeah. much to it, but I think the price more than yeah. compensates for how much fun we have with the game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I, but this isn't about fun. This is about the component quality. I know that. That's so, why we're playing with you. Yes. <laughs> definitely not about Never. fun. about fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's about me winning. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and give this probably for what's in the box box of seven i think it's good quality stuff it's just there's yeah. not much of it uh, yeah seven seven and a half i mean artwork on it is pretty well that's theme you go to theme i'm sorry i saw my second take <laughs> <laughs> no, third if you count the bleeping we had to do before we started it was a lot of bleeping uh, -huh. uh just quality of pieces i would give it a seven and a half i mean the paper on it, like he said, it's going to hold up. You're going to get a lot of plays out of it. So it's it's good quality. I mean, even the seven seems to be high because all you're getting is paper and dice. I mean, well, they are custom dice. They have a pumpkin on them. You're right. And you also get these and you get... You're right. Yeah, you get a pointless tractor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just... I mean, it's okay. But there's just... I mean, I can't give it more than six and a half. All right. 
So, but it's not like you're like that different. Oh, it's like huge. It's huge. Different. It's huge. All right. Well, let's talk about theme now. So the theme is your farming. I right. Mean, and it's, you know, all the different functionality. It is another one like fleet where it's kind of layered on. And mm -hmm. it's, it, you could have any theme. You're filling in boxes on a thing and you're rolling dice and you're filling in the boxes. But things do tie nicely. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't think it really layered on because they did a really good job of things tying together. Yeah, so yeah. I think that helps out a lot. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, you've got uh, Hadrian's Wall, same thing. I mean, yeah. all of them have things where if you fill in this box, it lets you fill in that box. But it box makes and, sense, though. Well, I mean, the, to do this to some and extent, into that, it makes sense. So I mean, I, I don't think that some, helps. some of the stuff that's in the shed doesn't necessarily seem to make sense to me. Because you're not bring. a farmer. Well, I'm you definitely not. You a garden, so yeah. you don't get it. Yeah, I don't have three sisters. Or right. that. Or so. high safe. Yes, I do, a high safe. Yes, right there. <laughs> you're right. You have to put it. Is that a combination of it? I mean, <laughs> never know. Some of those blue ribbons are worth gold. And why are you storing it in your shed? Don't worry about that part. We don't talk about it. <laughs> That's where the three sisters were. <laughs> where they were buried. Uh -huh. Right next to the shovel. Uh -huh. All right. So now I wonder what's in those pies. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I just don't feel this. It's. it's it could be any theme. It's nice that it's a farming theme and everything does make sense. I'll give it a seven again. I don't find it to be that exciting of a theme to go. It doesn't seem to, to me really intrinsic to the gameplay. It, it does interlock somewhat. Well, I, I give the theme probably an eight personally because, I mean, I think it would help bring somebody in that maybe didn't like gaming, but like gardening. The... the Everything plays together, to me. It plays really well together. You do certain things to get benefits on different boards. Just overall, yeah. and the artwork and everything, I, I give it a solid eight. I, I agree. I think I was going to give it an eight as well, because mechanically, it fits the theme. Mm -hmm. And so that's always a bonus to me, is that mechanics fit the theme, and it does. And so I, I think it's a solid eight. All right, let's discuss the rule book. So the rule book has a nice cover on it, and it is got a little know, introduction, which little uh, intro, yeah, yeah, which we skipped over the first time. Well, nope. we didn't. You didn't. No page numbering though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen pages. Uh, but that's with the expansion. Yeah, it's got the solo mode, the expansion. Uh, yeah, it's got. Uh, the clarification section on the back, quick reference, didn't really use that. Uh, it's got, you know, all the different actions that everything does explained mm -hmm. in the book, which is good, but I really would like to see that on an external sheet instead of in the book where you have to keep flipping pages to find it. Because we did want to look at those a lot. I mean, you have some explanation on the sheets, which is nice, but there was a few that I, I needed clarification on. Does it give you additional action or does it just give you, when you take an action, an additional bonus of being able to stretch right. the ability? So, you know, I wanted to make sure I was playing it right. But yeah, I mean, all in all, the rule book does a pretty decent job. It's just a, a kind of a meteor, one of the roll and rights, which I like meaty roll and rights. I played Fleet, uh, the dice game, and I didn't feel like it was as complicated or understand as this one was. Mm -hmm. This one felt a little But it's not complex. Hadrian's Wall. It's not know. Hadrian's Wall yeah. complex. We didn't lose any players during the read through <laughs> of the rules. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely a, I would say, a medium level. I agree. Right. Yeah. I agree. Uh, but, yeah, I think the rule book does a good job for what it's got to do from the subject matter. It's just a lot to take in to mm -hmm. understand it. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and give the rule book a seven and a half. I think a 7.5 is about where I'm at on it. I think I agree with that. Um, for me personally, it, it, it took a lot of getting to understand the layout of the, uh, of the paper and when he was reading the rules because it, it, for some reason it just wasn't clicking in my head. But once we started playing it, it all made perfect sense to me. Yeah, plus the growing and the watering portion was really tough to get. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was part of it. That was part to, of it. You have to plant it, but then the beans have to be planted when you reach a certain level in the corn. And there wasn't a lot of good examples in the right. book. There were a few small examples, but they weren't. There wasn't a lot of good, good clarity, clarity, ah, 
good, clear examples. Right. Much like there's not a lot of good, clear speaking. <laughs> I said not a lot. I didn't say there weren't any. There are a few. I'll differ from you guys. I'll give this probably an eight and a half because, I mean, if I was to sit down and read this, and I'm not one to sit down and read directions, I watch videos and everything, but if I sat down and read this, it gives enough example, enough clarification, pictures, everything. I would, it, it would tell me how to play this game. Uh, that's just where yeah. I stand on it. I mean, Dave might be able to read better. And, yeah, and, and read yeah. So he's got better eyes. eyes. Having yeah. somebody sit there and read the book to you, no. But I could pick this book up. I think just read about anybody could pick it up, read it, and go, okay. Mm -hmm. And that might be a way to approach it. Learn it yourself and then teach it to others without using the book. And but yeah, a lot quicker. three of us just sitting here, one of us listening. reading the book and listening. Okay, but I will, actual I game point out, out, though, you all were listening. Yes. I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> Reading the rule book out loud and nobody paying attention. So. Most of the time when you talk, I hear ones and zeros. Uh -huh. I don't pay attention to you. <laughs> but when they put this in front of me, I went, there's a lot going on. And now, I don't think that's fair. Because when I'm here and you're teaching the game, I'm either listening or I'm sleeping. <laughs> but it's one or the other. It's not like I tune out because I'm doing other stuff. Yeah. And so, well, that's usually why you're here. So I'll read it and put you to sleep. Oh, <laughs> well, there's that. So, yeah. so yeah. Okay. So we got a little bit of difference of opinion, but not a huge about yeah. variance. All right. So let's talk about gameplay. So, you know, first thing is you're going to determine who the first player is. They're going to get to roll the dice and the, the little, uh, armor, armor. starts out on the yellow pin, push pin, which is on the apiary or fruit action. And whoever rolls the dice, depending on player count, you're gonna have a different number of dice. We, we play with three, so that we have five dice. Uh, you roll the dice and, oh, coincidentally, I rolled exactly what we had. Oh, oh, so wow. weird. Your lowest number goes on where the farmer is and then you spread the dice out based upon the, the face value of them. So in this case, we had a one, four, five, and six, so we reach here. And then the farmer moves to the end of that trail. So there, that's where the farmer, the dice will start for the next round. So the first player then drafts one of these dice and they get to take the value that's on there determines what garden on their sheep that they get to farm in. It's got one through six in a kind of a circle around the, 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 the uh, garden. And you can either plant or you can water. Uh, if you, plant, you get to plant two of your plants, which if it has to be the bottom square because you're growing from the ground up and you, you start the new plants. Now, if it's corn, it's the only one that reaches the bottom or the pumpkins, which they're, they don't score at the squashes. end of game. Squashes, they look like pumpkins. This looks like a pumpkin. It I'm is. calling it a pumpkin. Your pumpkins don't score at the end of the game. They they give you benefits as goods that you can yeah. sell at the farmer's market. Don't really lose them, you don't sell them. So, But either way, you accumulate them to get benefits at the farmer's market. Um, so you can plant a, any of those things. Now, if you have grown your corn to the second level, that you now reach the level where you can plant beans adjacent to them. And the beans then grow, can grow as well. Uh, the other option is to water the region. So again, it's the same, whatever the, the, the pip count is the region you would water and everything you've already planted grows one square up. So I thought that was a neat mechanic. It is, and it, it took a second to get used to because you plant one box. Everything else is watering for it to grow up. So it's like mm -hmm. you can't plant the box and then plant the box above it. Yeah. That's a different planting. You have to go I to mean, a different that... stall. It makes sense now. Yeah. But when mm -hmm. I was first thinking about it, it took me a second to wrap my head around. It did take a second because there's no miracle grow on the shed or anything. Right. But, I mean, you're, there is a, you plant once and then everything you just... But there is a new tractor. There is a new tractor. Yes, so you plant and just wait for it to grow by watering it. Right, and, Anybody, that can, and it makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes Anybody sense that's now. ever gardened, you, there's a lot more work to it, but that's right. the basic premise. Plant and then water and watch it grow. So is that how it works? You wouldn't know. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> I, that would involve me going outdoors. That right. doesn't happen. No. All right, so uh, the other thing is the space you took it from has an action on it, which in this case, coincidentally, is plant or water. So I can basically do that action again. Uh, the other ones are the shed time, 
I don't really want to know what shed time is, but in the shed, you get to mark a box on the leftmost box on any of the items that are in the shed. These will give you perks during the course of the game or bonus victory points. And when you complete it, anytime you complete anything, this it's marked with a circle. I like that. It was very yeah, clear. Yeah. It, it, uh, so you, you mark left or right. You can't just fill in the circles. Um, and you, so you just, it doesn't matter what the pip count is because you're just picking anything in that. Right. Uh, the next one here is you gain one compost and four goods. Now compost is used to change the value of the, the pips when you're doing gardening. So if you were in, you took a four, but you really wanted to garden in three, you can spin the compost to reduce it by one or increase it by one if you wanted to go into five. But it doesn't change the action on the board, just the pip. Yeah, and you could wrap. So if you were at six and you wanted to do one, you can pay one to make that change. But it's not like yo, yo, yo type. No. no. Okay. Right, it doesn't need to wrap that way. No. no. Uh, the other thing you get are good. So this is similar to the pumpkins. Once you fully grow them, you're gonna mark your goods on there. The very fleet, uh, the dice game has a very similar mechanic to that. Uh, and it, ev after so many, in this case, every five, you get a free action of your choice. It can be in any region except the garden. You cannot mm -hmm. use it as a free gardening action. Um, so the next one is the apiary or fruit. So this is kind of just like the free action, but in this case, it's specifically for the apiary or the fruit garden. So the apiary is where you're raising your bees and you can raise them. There's kind of a two tier. There's a first, well, there's oh, well, two yeah, tiered two sections. Yeah, first you got the first section. You have up. to go up one path. And then the second tier splits into three paths and you get different perks. One is almost a pure victory point path. One is a, victory point slash goods path. And the other one is kind of a perks path where it gives you special abilities. So you can spread across any and all of those, but you just want to figure out which, what is most I don't think any of it's really, I did. It, you did a little bit. I right? got all the way up to next to the last one on the uh, honey path. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, that's where I, how I won the game was I maxed that out pretty much. Um, he cheated. Yeah, that was the other one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The fruit, they give you different perks depending on what type of fruit it is. So one gives you victory points, one gives you goods, one gives you watering abilities, and the other one kind of gives a hybrid. Well, well, there's like the apples and the blackberries are all about victory points. The peaches is a little bit of victory point, but it's mostly watering, yeah. which is an interesting element is that it helps you do this part of the, the board. But I really like the raspberries because it's all about the goods. Yeah. Well, so, uh, and the peaches, if you mess with the yeah, bottom part of your give garden, you gives yeah. you goods every time you harvest right. the peaches. And so I, everything. There, kind of the, yeah, there was some, some combos. So like the shed, there was some stuff that impacted the fruit. Mm -hmm. I made, I capped my peaches out because I had victory points or bonus, or not victory points, but good bonuses for the peaches. Right. As well as down in the uh, perennials. I had one that affected yeah. my peaches, so I was able to stack all that. It got a bunch of goods every time I created a peach. So, yeah, there's a lot of different things that intertwine in this game. Um, the next one is the uh, farmer's market. So farmer's market is all about getting benefits for having accumulated goods. And there's a chart on the main board that explains how many goods you have to have and what perk you get for each level that you get. And I, I really enjoyed that. I did too. I, I, I went pretty far on that path. So, uh, but, you know, basically those are the different actions you can get from the main board. And then and you if, get the at, uh, yeah. extra. At the end of the round, there's a, a benefit everybody gets. Mm -hmm. And in the first case, it is a free shed action. But then it afterwards you get rain. Rain is really awesome because it waters your entire Garden. Yeah, not just one section, it's yeah. the whole thing. So you want to make sure you plant a lot before the rains come in. I, I found myself wasting a lot of rain because I ended up with gardens that didn't have anything to grow right. in them. And I was like, I could have done this way better. You um, still won, though. I still won, but I, I know I could have. You could have won better. I could have won better. <laughs> it would have been more impressive win. I, I had, my, my garden three had nothing planted in it the entire game. I never used it at all. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that, that, that really wasted an opportunity for not having done that. 
Yeah, I know. I'm sad. Yeah. So is Garden Three. It's very sad. <laughs> yeah. It's very barren. So the, there's a song about that. You know, the empty gardens. Oh, well, <laughs> the very can't, barren. Can't refer to that because that would be copyrighted again. Um, so yeah. So I, you know, each each round you get a different perk. I mean, some of them repeat throughout the yeah. game, but it's an eight round game. Uh, just everybody taking a, a die. Now, after everybody selected a die, there will be two dice left in this case. The lowest die, everybody gets that action and the board action and the gardening of that die. So it's like a, yeah. it's a bonus. And so yeah. Yeah. that was really cool. I like that. Yeah. Part so it's basically like you get two dice per yeah. round, but yeah. one of them is a common one. Uh, the other thing is whenever you choose your actions, you can do the gardening first or you can do the, the, the action the of the board. Action. You can choose the order, and that was really important mm -hmm. because there were a lot of times... The combo would the hit combo. out better with yeah, like, right you know, doing a certain order. There were times where the farmer's market, I was just shy of getting what I needed, but if I took the gardening action, it was able to push me over and yeah. I would have a, you know, to get to the next tier. Uh, so I did that you know, in the right order to get that benefit. So yeah, there's a lot of perks like that that are nice. And there's sometimes where we got like, the round action was a farmer's market, the bonus action we got was the farmer's, farmer's market, market, so we yeah. got double farmer's market. That was really cool. I really like that. Yeah. That helped Rob a lot. It yeah. did, because I had double perennials, which we didn't really talk about the perennials, but uh, if you, there, when you do your pumpkins, if you do adjacent pumpkins to a perennial, then you can get a bonus. And each perennial is a flower, and each one has different, I mean, they're all going to give you awesome bonuses, but one will focus on shed actions, one focused on compost. One focused on goods. Yeah, you focused on the one that did the peaches. Mm -hmm. That was related to the apples, I believe. And then the other one focused on uh, the uh, the fruits down here, so beyond the peaches. So I really like the perennial aspect of mm -hmm. it. I think that, that I really focused on that quite a bit. So I thought that was really neat. Yeah, and and when you max all of them out, you got yeah, victory you get victory points. Some of them are too. substantial. Well, one twelve, and that's yeah. the one I maxed out on. Yeah, I I only got the seven and the ten down there, but oh, I, is that all? Yeah, yeah, it's on seventeen. Points. Yeah, 17. yeah, I didn't get any. That's my pe my piece of paper there. Yeah. So they're, <laughs> big old goose egg. Yeah, one of us really sucked at this game. <laughs> Be me. <laughs> and it's the one who actually gardened last year, so that uh, really hurts. Yeah. Well, you, you still didn't know what Three Sisters were, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> but he found it in the rule book, Randy did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't gloss that. over the entire rule book. I read it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did we invite you? To <laughs> no, I just kind of showed up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> like bad luggage, I just keep showing up. Oh, that's right. You were out there digging my driveway, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, next to the little kid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah all, you know, all in all I mean I, I thought this was an interesting game I, I think it's about the same level as the Fleet the mm -hmm. Dice game I really enjoyed that one as well I, I like the mechanics of it don't really think if the farming was that important to it but they do it does kind of make sense with it um, you know all in all I think it's a great game I'll give it an 8.5 I think it was a lot of fun what do you think uh, I'd say a solid 8.5 9 because I mean to me, the theme and everything, everything worked really well together. I mean, it just, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Everything makes sense. If you do this, you get this bonus. So. Um, I played a lot of Roll and Write, so I'm going to compare it to that. I think this is one of the better Roll and Writes. It's not Hadrian's Wall. Uh, Hadrian's Wall was my favorite game last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, uh, it's, so it's nowhere near that, but it's really good. And it is better than most of the other Roll and Writes that I own. So I think I'm going to go a little bit higher just for that reason. I'm going to give it a nine. Oh, awesome. So, Great scores yeah. all around. So, yeah, if you can. If you yeah, like rolling yeah. rights, it's find definitely a worth yeah. the $30. Check this out. If you if you don't mind it being the difficulty level it is. Yeah. If, you're, if you're used to rolling rights being a very simple, casual game, that you're, and yeah. that's what you're uh, into. Th th this is definitely not Super Mega Lucky Box. No, no it's, it's not it's Super Mega Lucky Box. It's not Welcome to. It's yeah. definitely a step above all those games. Uh, it's it's much closer to Hadrian's Wall level, which right. I think is a probably a medium to heavy I as agree. far as roll rights go. It's, I know. haven't played that. Oh. oh, you definitely should try yeah. that one. It is. You all quit inviting me over. No. No. Well, that's because somebody oh, we, decided yeah, to have a baby have, have and a baby. stop coming around. You know, <laughs> we don't care. You could bring the baby. <laughs> bring the baby. the baby. Miranda will watch him. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't drop him off one after. <laughs> <laughs> she will, but that's yeah. not because well, the, yeah, it's, it's, it's not because we tell her you have no, to watch no, the baby. It's, it's right? she loves babies. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so now that we've probably got ourselves in trouble, well, I, at least I got in trouble from YouTube. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, well, hopefully you'll come back and join us again. <laughs> <laughs> or don't. Yeah. No. no, we want you to. Yeah, we want you to. <laughs> don't scare our people away. <laughs> you got my face on the video. It's going to scare some people away. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a great time. I'm yes, glad Dave came and joined us. You know, we had a lot, of, a lot fun. of fun. So, uh, yeah, was, we missed you having you around. It's been a long time. So, yeah, come back more often. I will. With so, or without kid. Somebody's got to make sure you, you know, don't right. win, but I didn't have any You can bring today. Tara, too. I mean, yeah. yeah. Tara's yeah. welcome as well. We like her a lot. She really doesn't like Randy. I, mean, I, I don't blame her. But I'm here. Well, that's true. And we always got along pretty well. Well, that's yeah, true. But it's Randy. I know, yeah. but yeah. You know, I'm right here, right? <laughs> One and zero. Okay. One and zero. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to make you have a listen to this anymore. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. I don't understand the name at all. Did three sisters come up with the game? No. Oh, perhaps known as the three sisters, corns, beans, and squash. Oh. The well, crops. Did you forget to read over that part, Randy? Yeah. That's corn why I was trying to look. Corns provide a lattice for the beans to climb. The beans transfer nitrogen from the air to soil, and the squash creates. So those aren't. Those are squashes. Well, these are? Pump, yeah. They're not pumpkins? That I mean, like pump, pumpkin to me. Pumpkin is a type of squash. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I guess it's better than having itty bitty little <clears throat> yellow blips on there. I'm just, no, I'm 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 I, I don't know. I, I, We're doing the all this before the. We're doing the pre review show. <laughs> Aren't everybody ready? Yeah, there's a lot of us on the table. It's always good to do your best recording in the green room. <laughs> well, I can cuss. <laughs> <laughs> just put a mature rating on this one. I'll be <laughs> golden. <laughs> Now I can't even use the blue. Oh, <laughs> well, you just bleep it. Just bleep everything I I'm say. I'm just going to put a big cloud with asterisks <laughs> and stuff right over his head the entire video.